This tutorial explains the process of converting recommendations from the assessment matrix into practical scenarios. This is done in order to estimate their cost of implementation. This video covers designing scenarios, the parameters to estimate the cost, and both low and high scenarios. There are two types of recommendations made in the assessment matrix, quantitative and qualitative. In this demonstration, we focus only on quantitative. Examples of such recommendations are introducing or extending new non-contributory benefits, increasing the benefit amount for non-contributory schemes, and extending coverage to more people. Let's refer to our completed assessment matrix from the first tutorial video. In it, we have marked our quantitative recommendations with an asterisk. We now want to convert these quantitative recommendations into one or more scenarios. Scenarios are policy changes or specific provisions that can be practically implemented. Through these scenarios, policymakers can decide whether to move ahead with the implementation. So how do we convert these recommendations into scenarios? Let's look at a few examples. Let's refer to our first three recommendations on healthcare in Croatia from our previous assessment matrix. First, let's look at recommendation number three. Increase coverage of PHCP to all poor people. This can be converted into a practical scenario to extend PHCP to uncovered poor people. From this scenario, we then need to draft specific parameters to allow for more accurate costing. Some of these parameters can be found within the assumption for costing and the Croatia case study. Let's now list the parameters for this recommendation. Since 48% of the poor population is covered by PHCP, we can define the target group of uncovered people as 52% of the poor population in the country. The take-up rate is assumed to grow from zero to full coverage. We can assume that the implementation of the scenario will start in 2014, with 25% coverage of the target group covered, and increase by 25% every year. The benefit level is taken from the assumptions in the case study. In 2011, the actual per capita cost of PHCP benefits was 2,500 dines. This is assumed to increase every year with average wage increase, because the largest component of healthcare costs is made up of wages for doctors, medical staff, and manpower costs. Thus, the cost of providing healthcare services is indexed on average wage increase in the country. The administrative cost is assumed as 15% of the cost of benefits, which is similar to the administrative cost for other targeted schemes in the country. Let's take a look at another example. Let's do recommendation number two, to reimburse transportation costs under PHCP. This can be converted into a practical scenario to extend PHCP to all uncovered poor people, which is the same as the previous scenario, but also to provide a transportation allowance to all poor people. As scenario one has already been designed, we will focus only on the transportation allowance in this scenario. The target group for the transportation allowance is all poor people in the country. The take-up rate is assumed to grow progressively from 25% in the first year of implementation, for example in 2014, to 100% in 2017. While defining the transportation allowance, we can assume that on average, each beneficiary makes four visits to a hospital or healthcare center, and the cost of traveling both ways is 100 dines. Thus, the total allowance in a year is 4 multiplied by 100. This is assumed to increase every year with average wage increase, because the largest component of healthcare costs is made up of wages for doctors, medical staff, and manpower costs. Thus, the cost of providing healthcare services is indexed on average wage increase in the country. The administrative cost is assumed as 15% of the cost of benefits which is similar to that for targeted schemes in the country. Now, let's take a look at low and high scenarios. A low scenario provides a minimum level of benefits and is usually the least expensive to implement. In this case, scenario one, for extension of PHCP to uncover poor people, may be defined as the low scenario. A high scenario provides a maximum level of benefits 
and is usually the most expensive to implement. In this case, a high scenario could be scenario 2, which extends PHCP to all informal economy workers and their dependents in the country. We have now concluded the tutorial on converting recommendations into scenarios.